Yeah, I got just close enough. <laughs> well, I can guarantee it's working on this end. I could listen to Symphony of the Night music, Symphony of the Night music, all day. That's what I can do. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Today is the 11th of October 2021. I am Beard Arrow, your host for tonight on this spooky October month of spooky games that are not necessarily always spooky, but today I will be playing yet another continued spooky game, but this is a follow up to last stream, and I'm actually going to. <laughs> the DOS box catches that probably. Yeah, it looks like it does. So let me uh, boot that up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so today, today's stream is going to be uh, playing the last bit of Tomb Raider. This will be Tomb Raider. Unfinished Business, a free add-on released by the devs, uh, very specific devs, I don't know actually, um, the game doesn't come up with any full motion video, it just boots right in, it's got this menu which looks like it's a mod, uh, it disables the Lara's home thing on the menu, and honestly, other than that, it looks exactly the same as if I was just playing Tomb Raider, and you'd only really know I was playing Unfinished Business because I start off. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead, we'll start off. So, um, yeah, let me just make sure that I've got all my stuff set up. Yep, alright, okay. seems all good. Seems all ready. Alright, okay. so, yeah, Tomb Raider Unfinished Business was a free add-on released in 1998 in, uh, in kind of, uh, I guess, timing with the Macintosh, uh, release of the game, but I believe they did a PC release of this as well, so that's why it works on PC. Uh, the game takes place... It's basically two pairs of two levels. Uh, well, two pairs. It's a pair of pair of levels. It's four levels. And there's two levels in each set. So the first set of levels involves going back to this Egypt tomb. But there's more to it. And I actually like this idea of we go back to an old tomb that's filled. It's, it's, it's flooded. And I wonder if there were actually ideas of this level in... The Egypt level that I just played. I love this as well, where it's like you stand up here and suddenly it like opens up. Uh, it's a bit weird, but sure. Uh, other than that, this is basically just a level pack, but it's something cool. It's something cool to play, and it's something to at least show off and be like, hey, yo, like if you've if you played Tomb Raider and you haven't played this, give it a bit of a whirl because it is more Tomb Raider, but it's also more of the good stuff. Tomb Raider is a great game. I like it. So more of it is great. Uh, there is a crocodile here, but there's also shotgun shells, and I would prefer picking up the- Ah, he's munching my legs! Stop! Stop! Can I climb up here? Uh, I can. <laughs> I can't stay up here, but I can climb up here, and that's, that's a start. Uh, I can at least pick up this health, which will let me recover all the health that this crocodile has decided to take off. Um, but yeah, those, those of stood of you may remember this as the level that I played at the beginning of last week's stream. <laughs> I can't believe I played through all the Egypt and the, um, Atlantis stuff all in one stream. Um, so yeah, the level is flooded, and the goal of the level is, I believe there are... Oh, I missed it. I was holding down A, and then I was like, uh, I, I'm just gonna shoot the crocs. I'm just gonna go shoot the crocs. How about that? Uh, so the goal of this level, I believe, is just to get to the end. There's nothing really too fancy going- Where, Where's the crocs? There- There's one. I'm gonna shoot that one instead. He's- He's chilling out in a better place. Uh, but yeah, no, this is a free add-on. Uh, I believe they did release this as a download at some point. So, look around, uh... You'll probably find, uh, how to install it. Um, I don't know if I've necessarily got it perfectly installed. Um, because... I mean, the game just kind of cuts in for me. It doesn't really... Like, there's no, like, presentation beyond as a title screen. Even, like, when I finish the last level, it's just gonna exit out to the main menu. Um, which is a bit anticlimactic. There's no, like, specific credits. So I don't know if I've necessarily got it installed correct, but... Uh, for the most part, I can play these levels. And I think that's probably, you know... Fine enough. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe not the most fine enough, but hey, hey, I'm playing more Tomb Raider, um, and I think that's cool. 
Uh, I won't be playing more Tomb Raider after this stream. The goal of the stream is to complete the game in its entirety. Uh, so that involves continuing on. But yeah, I don't think uh, you could enter this room. Or maybe you could. Uh, this gets a little terrifying because... Uh, as the start of, I guess, an expansion, there are enemies who are very likely to almost kill me. Because, yeah, I don't have that much health. So, I'm gonna need to toy around. How do I take out these guys in a bit of a better way? They haven't given me any other weapons as well. I'm picking up magnum and shotgun shells, but I'm not picking up magnum gun and shotgun gun. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to try my best on this one, but... And there's more crocodile. <laughs> I would appreciate a very large health at, at this point. Remember how, like, the, the main game starts and it's just, like... Bear. There's a single bear. <laughs> yeah, I... Like, starting mid-game, like, enemies is definitely a bit of a challenge. But it's not impossible because you can still pace yourself. So, okay. <laughs> It's getting a bit tight, but sure. Alrighty. Uh, I, I've played I've played through Unfinished Business twice, but I don't remember a ton about it, so... Excuse me if I start to blank out a little bit. I believe, yeah, you can just jump around here. It being the same levels but flooded definitely gives it this, like, unique aspect of just kind of, like, trying to unlearn what you previously thought the level was. Um, there we go. Uh, okay, I guess not. <laughs> guess not, not up there. Uh, but yeah, nah. So this is, uh, this is a bit of an exciting time. Playing something that maybe you, you all, y'all have not played yet. I opened that up and I cannot for the life of me figure out which ledge gets out of here. I was thinking it was the same ledge that got me in here, but... Not quite. Maybe I could do a, a, a turn jump. Not going backwards. Uh, should I have even gotten in here? This doesn't quite feel right. I feel like I'm just not grabbing this ledge properly. But it is kind of like oddly sloped. So it makes it look a bit weird. Alternatively, there's this ledge over here, but... It's just the fact that, like, none of these are... Oh, wait. This one is straight on. How about that? There we go. <laughs> Let me take, like, ten attempts before I finally figure this out. There we go. Jump on that. Jump backwards. There we go. Figured it out. Who needs game facts when you've got... No skill. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. What are they doing up here, bro? Hmm. But yeah, it's mid-October. It's October 11th. Uh, we're starting to get to that point where games are coming out this year. I don't know. It's been a bit of a... bit of a slow year, um... Anecdotally, for games. There's been a few that have come out, but not a lot that I've necessarily... I, I guess, like, it depends on, I guess, the circles I'm looking at. I honestly haven't... I don't think I've actually bought any games that have come out this year. I know, right? Um, call that being a patient gamer, maybe. Um, I have played a couple of games this week, though, and I'll definitely talk about those games that I did play, but I think the best thing is the... Yeah, let's talk about... Just kind of the new games very briefly, uh, and the things that I do know about them, because if there's one thing I do know, it's being spoiled for looking at games and having other people that I know play them without really playing them myself, and then passing off judgment about them as if I've played them, and as if uh, I know the serious issues that the game has, and not just I'm amazed that I did not even die from that. 
I thought I was gonna go up and like maybe get some hits and then like drop back down, but I ended up you know taking out one of them. So. Get him? I got him. Easy. Easy money. And he was sitting on health the whole time. And more shotgun. Even cooler. Cool. So, uh, the big game that I hear people playing... Actually, I'll, I'll do the, the one that I haven't heard much of. Um, Metroid Dread. That came out. Uh, I've heard bits of it. I've heard journalists have great times with the difficulty of the game. Um... But, in general, it sounds like it's just, it's the game that I, like, I kind of expected. It's a solid 2D Metroid game. Not exactly pushing any barriers, but not exactly being bad either. Also, hey there, shotgun. How are you doing? It's just sitting there. Um, I haven't heard much from Metroid Dread. I don't know if that's because it's a Switch game. Uh, I feel like it's a, that's a maybe, um... I don't know. It, that's a bit of a weird one as well, because as, as I will keep saying multiple times, I love Metroid so much. I really, I'm really looking forward to Prime 4. Metroid Prime is my favorite game of all time. Uh, but I'm not like, I'm not diehard in the sense of like, I don't really have any huge intention to buy the game day one or really any, any game day one. So Metroid doesn't even, you know, push me over the line. It's like, no, that's it. Um, so yeah, I believe at this point, this is when it starts going into new kind of dungeony area as well. Um, something's gonna come at me. It's a very interesting hallway with a chair. Uh, did I actually just get pushed into this? Did the cat push me in? I swear I was looking just then and then just like, okay. That's, that'd be hilarious if that was actually the case. So actually, there is a cat that spawns behind you. Okay, how about I'm just going in? Ah, oh, I thought I could do a bit of a diagonal jump there. I'll take another stab at it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, like, I haven't heard really much about Metroid Dread on my online circles. That's not to say that no one's playing the game. Uh, I think it's more just whoever the people I'm following just hasn't really shown up. The game that I have seen shown up is Far Cry 6. Now, Far Cry is a franchise that I've played two games of. I've only played two and three. And I played two rather recently. Was it last year or maybe the year before? Should I even be down here? I hope there's a way out. I think there is. I think I can jump out in that direction. Um, but now, yeah, I've only played Far Cry's two and three, and the purists out there are probably gonna cry because, like, I didn't even—I haven't even played the first one. That one's been again running in my Steam library. I think I played—I played it for an hour like years back, and then I never played it again. Um, I think I got a bit aggravated with it, but I think that was maybe at the time when, like, I was a bit too headstrong into playing the game on the hardest difficulty. And, yeah, that, yeah, like, some people will know, it's like, yeah, there's some games out there where it's like, yeah, that hardest difficulty, like, is not fair. Uh, ooh, danger pit. That's okay, because I got a danger jump. They, they doubled it up on me. <laughs> they put two pits next to each other. Ah, oh, classic. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue going down this way anyways. It seems fun. Uh, but yeah, here comes Far Cry 6. Uh, I remember, by the way, way back when. Uh, you remember the, the green text memes of people calling GameStop and asking if they got the new Battletoads, and then if they didn't have Battletoads, they'd have Far Cry 6? We're at this point in time where there was a new Battletoads and there was a new Far Cry 6. This is the world we helped build, okay? Is this one last pit, just for good measure? Yeah. What's my reward for jumping all around here? That was a secret. Ancient to Chinese a secret. Maybe I should play Shadow Warrior at some point on stream. Maybe. 
that's a that's another shooter where it's like i've criminally like not played the remake of it and i have shadow warrior 2 writing in my library and i know shadow warrior 3 is is that coming out this year i think it is so what's that chalk that one up for another game that <laughs> is happening at some point It's weird, the first one is like... That was my- that was entirely just... Oh, I gotta do the jumps again. Who's- who's in the chat yelling at me for not saving? No one. <laughs> my problems are your problems, apparently. <laughs> it's the most irresponsible thing for any, like... Any person playing a game. <laughs> and all the people watching on YouTube are like, what, what can I do, man? What can I do? Um, yeah, so, anyways. Far Cry 6. It's the sixth installment of a game franchise that has had two spin-off titles. Uh, and also a console game. That is, it's like, and... Uh, like, there was a console Far Cry based on the first one, wasn't there? If I'm remembering right, I can't remember. I don't remember much about it, but I thought it was a unique game. Anyways, so Far Cry is a game franchise that Ubisoft kind of... I don't even know what the inspiration for Far Cry 2 was. And why it was a very different game. Same. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, but the cat... Uh, but pretty much the formula, and I think formula is probably a key word here was uh, cemented by Far Cry 3, where you are a guy on a tropical island who gets lured into a bit of a story, and that story involves uh, you kind of becoming a bit of a warrior, and you kind of having this villain who's very uh, charming-ish. I guess Far Cry 2 kind of had that, even though it was very just Apocalypse Now, uh, and I'm, I'm not even going to mention Heart of Darkness. Ooh, this is a camera angle. I think they're trying to show me that there's a big sphinx head, but... I don't see it yet. Am I sliding down this? I am still sliding down this. Did I just spawn a cat? Why are there so many... Well, I guess this is Egypt. So, I'm gonna follow the trail. How about that? Uh, these are... Blocks I can pull. Or at least one of them is. So we'll go with that. Uh, actually, I think uh, it'd be safe to climb over this until I try. Because uh, I think I've also got to pull that one back. But I could probably make do by pushing this one all the way back. And then, yeah, the question is, can I push this or... I can push it. Maybe that's just it. Okay, I just need to push it. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, Far Cry 6 is basically a similar game off the surface from what I hear. Uh, but it has a couple of change mechanics here and there. Um... And uh, most of what I've seen involves streamlining the experience. Uh, I guess that's a bit of a ramp, but that's okay because I can swim around. But what's around here? A lot of magnum bullets on the ground. Hopefully I'll get that magnum soon, but I don't know if I'm actually going to drop the magnum uh, for, the, um, for the second pair of levels. I think I am actually, so. There's another croc. Hi there. We got a bridge. We got another croc. There's a gate. You can just swim around the gate. You can keep swimming around, and suddenly now I am in a room. I am in places. Oh boy, I died. So speaking of Crocodile, uh, Far Cry 2 features, uh, you can summon pets to come fight for you, and there's a crocodile that you get very early in the game. It's not a spoiler. That's just it. I'm pretty sure they marketed it. So, that's okay. 
Uh, but I guess the interesting thing about Far Cry 6 that I find is, uh, well, two things. It's a game being made during certain, uh, certain, uh, you know, world scenario kind of current event kinds of things. Um, it's interesting because this is a game that's definitely had that more in its development than not. And it's been a real long development cycle. This game was supposed to come out earlier this year and it ended up getting delayed until now. Until it's, it's October. Um, man, that's a lot of Crocs. You good game? There you go. We have eradicated the entire crocodile population. The best part is that you can't even crawl in this game. Uh, you can crawl in Tomb Raider... Uh, is it three or four that did it first? I'm pretty sure four. I'm going with four. There's <laughs> another one in the water, why not? Um. But, yeah, it's, I, I find it's a bit interesting just because, yeah, this is, yeah, a big game that's been made and it's tried to stick to, you know, uh, schedule and it's kind of missed it a bit but here it comes out and at the very least it's a game that seems to run pretty well on computer hardware day one without really needing any extra help which is a big plus and something that while yeah like uh if i was a, a cynical kind of like he here i am reviewing a game every um you know what i mean like there's those kinds of youtubers who will just be like you know oh i i'm playing a game and it's like this should... Whoa. Hey, hey, you, no, no, you don't knock me down from that. I'm staying up here, bro. I'm staying up here. I was confused why Lara wasn't shooting down, and then, yeah, there's another one there. Cool. Uh... And I just got him again. Cool. Uh... But you know what I mean? It's like, there was some YouTubers back there. I feel like the Total Biscuit types... Um, you know, rest in peace, Total Biscuit, but, you know what I mean, it's like, he would make a huge deal about, like, you know, like, this, this would not be the, the, you know, the exception, this should be the standard that all games have, that's my terrible Total Biscuit impression, that's just my, like, you know, regular, regular, um, British, just general, <laughs> uh, uh, I gotta hydrate, man. I don't know, the last stream took it out of me, so I'm just, like, recovering. Um, I don't think I can stand on that. Nah, I can't. Uh, is there another croc in the water? Yeah, he's... Oh. Gosh, there's crocodiles everywhere, man. Crikey. <laughs> there you go. That's how, that's how you know where I'm from, apparently. Um, but, still, I... Uh, it's... It feels like... Uh, from what I'm hearing of Far Cry 6, it's a game that is the same game-ish that people have been buying for nearly a decade now, streamlined to some degree to at least, you know, play a bit more, um, 2020, we'll say, like, there's some, uh, features where it's like, okay, people, you know, want a bit more fast travel, uh, like, looter systems, uh, larger world, like, more varied kinds of, uh, more like repeating missions like there's a point where it's like are, are the missions like being randomly generated uh by an ai or at least were they randomly generated before um before ubisoft then looked at those random generations and said yeah that looks pretty pretty solid um i don't know if that's oh my gosh what is happening i'm at least glad i've done the jump but like geez whoever designed this level doesn't give you much of a much of a leeway do they? I'm actually curious where this level's going as well, because I feel like I've been wandering around, but I have picked up one key. So if I find where that key goes, cool. But yeah, you, like, if, if you're seeing this level, it's like, it's snaking around. It's going places. It's going through a lot of tiny corridors. Um, and, and ultimately, I'm picking up just item... Like, yeah, okay, a, a big health is nice, but it's not, you know, what I would actually prefer, just reaching the end of the level. Uh, well. Why have you done this to me, game? I'm not on the ground, now I'm on the ground. Oh, this is still the, the crocodile pit from before, what is happening? 
The escape is there. The escape is there. I just want to get into the escape. Hmm. Well, I guess that's where the large health goes. I didn't even kill those crocs. Okay. So this is after the... Yeah. Uh, I, your guess is as good as mine, where they're, like, directing me to go. Mm. That being said, if I, if I do sound critical about, like, the, the very few things I've even said about Far Cry 6, um, I feel like the, the main take-homes is that, well, hey, this is a game franchise that people are still buying and playing. I feel like it's sold a fair bit already. So, I mean, I can't knock a game for being popular. That's one thing where it's like, you know, it might, it might be cool to hate. Oh my gosh. You are running through the thing. Don't. That's illegal. How do you... Okay, cool. There he comes back. They've got a lot of health, these cats, don't they? There you go. Alright. Uh... And, yeah, I mean... On the one hand, I guess there's like a thing of like here, uh, you're playing the same game, uh, not quite year in, year out, but definitely a fair bit. And, uh, but then it's like, well, I mean, there's a lot of games out there that are like that. And, you know, if it works, repackage it. And that's kind of what I'm really bad at. What was the last time I saved? Was it before I got the, oh no, I was back here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a jump, instead of walking. Can't believe they memed on me. Why would they do this? Who knows. Uh, but yeah, I... I don't have too many thoughts about it. Uh, other than, it's... It's a game, it's a Far Cry. Uh... I don't know. So, uh, anyways, I don't have a great segue into uh, the story of the week, but I feel like this is a bit of an interesting one. I don't know if you can get banned on Twitch for talking about this. Uh, thanks for the the follow, Lara Croft sixty uh, eight. Hopefully, that is not the number of Lara Crofts that I will expire going through this by jumping on spikes. Someone's streaming. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm streaming you. Yes, good luck, adventure. Oh. <laughs> I fell for the same trap twice. I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> uh, okay, run to the other side. Easy. Done. I am now stuck here. I am now stuck. Okay, I guess I could jump over. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Uh, by the way, uh, Ms. Uh, Lara Croft 68, uh, what are your thoughts on this? You better be careful with me. Try not to kill me or you'll see my dangerous side. Oh no. Uh, what is your thought about, uh, the unfinished business at the end of Tomb Raider 1? Right, okay, this kind of adventure. Ah, yes, this was my favorite part about this as well. The, the fact that, like, the first Tomb Raider did not have any skybox, uh, like, setup. So, what we have is, this is the first time you, you will ever see the outside. And it's, uh, maybe a bit obvious, it's a painted ceiling, it's just... It's painted stars. Uh, this is... I, I love this bit. Adding, like, a fair bit of height to the, um, the levels. I hate that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, mm. oh, There's still a cat down there. Can I, can I get the cat? <laughs> there you go. I picked that up. The camera's having a bit of a field day. There's even, like, stars in that direction. Like, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little bizarre looking at times. But, you know, I like its charm. If you have a game and it can't do a skybox, like, you, you gotta cheese it. <laughs> Fine, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if, uh... 
you're allowed to talk about this on Twitch, but uh, there was a certain uh, leak of content uh, on the internet. Some dis disgruntled employee, most likely, uh, took a bunch of uh, Twitch source code that they are definitely working on as a employee of Twitch. This is not where you're supposed to jump to. It doesn't look like a ledge gets pulled out here, so I'm curious, like, what the angle you're really supposed to go through is. You can jump down to a lower ledge, but that doesn't seem like it's really, you know, exclusive. You've got the shotgun shells over there, but... I don't know, I feel like maybe I'm just, you know... Maybe I should be a bit safe and just jump back down. Uh... Yeah, okay. Yep, okay, cool. So, let me reorient myself. I definitely wasn't on this ledge uh, at first. Oh, this is just around the back. So where does this lead? Uh, this is above that bit. Oh, so I just went one direction. That's an interesting direction, but sure. Okay. Ah, that's a, that's a fun geometry uh, part there. Let's see if there's a ground over here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, some of you may have heard of that Twitch leak. Um, I think the, the take-home that I think a lot of people somehow took from that was how much money certain streamers are earning. Uh, definitely, I do not want to disclose any figures or individuals that are part of that list because that's definitely uh, a bit of confidential info. Um, I feel like it's good for at least people to know the ballpark amounts of how much money is ending up at certain people, but I will leave that to other uh, responsible reporting to, uh, to let you determine how to find those values. Um, but they're out there, I'll just say that. Um, obviously they're more and more out of date, of course, but it gives you a snapshot and a, a time period of, I believe it was from August 2019 to... Uh, to basically beginning of October. Which I find that, that that's actually kind of interesting. The fact that these leaks are of content that is so late. Like, that really does imply it. Because, like, you know, if you're sitting on a leak of data and you, like, you know, and you're disgruntled and you scrape that uh, October. Sorry, and yeah, if you scrape that now. Would you release it now, or would you kind of go, hmm, I'm going to sit on it for like three months, and then like, oh, like, then I'll release it at this point, and now it's like, well, how many, you know, employees have cycled in and out since October? It at least it makes your, um, your involvement a little bit more, uh, hidden. This is another room I don't believe I've actually walked into. I'm just wandering around, hoping at some point I figure out where this one key ends up. It's a real interesting level because it's like it's nowhere near as like and it's just for one bit of health. Okay, so we've got this bridge bit, and you can swim around into a bit with a crocodile pit, and it's just there. Like that's it. Uh, and I've picked up a key, but I don't know where the key goes. Uh, I always keep jumping into the wrong angle. Here we go. And then, yeah, what did I what did I discover when I was up here? We've got this ledge with the crocodile, which I wandered away from, but I don't think there's actually... Oh, maybe there is, because I'm seeing, like, this ledge here. I am... Yeah, okay, that's a bit of a weird one. This is going to be the world's longest edge grab. <laughs> uh, yeah, on on the Twitch leak, um, there's a couple of things as well. Like, I think it's a bit interesting seeing how some things are hard coded in. Uh, I think someone noted that the golden cap is uh, actually like given out based on just who some people are. Like, there's just very specific people who have access to it, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, yeah, that totally is just. Just a goodie over there. Would it be quicker to drop down and walk all the way back around? Because... Long edge grab. Again! Just for ammo. Oh, but there's another... There's another ledge! Where, where does this go? Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I found it. I found the elusive room that required the key. <laughs> Wandering around so long. I think I've found like one secret as well. Uh, we got boulders. That's cool. Is there a cat coming at me? I thought I heard one. There's, there's definitely a cat down there. Well, I I guess this is the way to go. Like here. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have held forward too much. Nah, I just Lara's gonna be dead. I can guarantee it. All right, <laughs> take two. Oh, oh! I was I'm sorry. I was still holding water. <laughs> ah, jeez. Unprepped stream of the year. Okay, so I'm gonna get more boulders. There's another boulder. Should I be concerned about there being more boulders? It seems okay. But there's a thing at the end that I think is just it's going to be a door. And then we've got those bits there. Well, I guess I can, you know, it's bound to be a ledge to climb down. Somehow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have any other real, like, words about the Twitch leak. Um, but it's definitely one where it's like, you know... I th oh, actually, I've got a couple things. Um, so one, I guess companies should be kind of aware of, like, when people are in code uh like i know it might happen a bit but it's like you know audit that stuff i i feel like that's how you kind of protect against this stuff um it's surprising that it doesn't actually happen that much you think like and and this is gonna be a bit disparaging but it's like all three of my last works i probably had the ability to do this i don't know if i would have had the uh anonymity <laughs> to get away with it but um but definitely, it's like, well, I mean, there's one thing for, like... And, and, and this, is, this is a classic thing. If you want to prevent people from doing things, you have to go, one, how likely is it that someone would want to do this? Because quite a lot of the time, it's not very high. Like, yeah, someone can probably break a lot of systems out there, but, like, people don't often really go out and do it. And then the question... And then the second question is, how feasible is it for them to do it? And that's why, like, you gotta go, hey, like, if... You know, someone can, in this case, pull a lot of Twitch code from, you know, GitHub or Bitbucket or whatever service they use. Maybe they use whatever, I believe Amazon has their own, um, kind of Git service, part of AWS. I forgot what it was. I'm pretty sure they've got something. Um, ah, more cat. Cat, cat, cat. Uh... So, like, you have to go, like, well, I mean, what are the odds? Not very high, but you don't make it, like, hard for them to do that. And that's, that's a huge catch, and you want to be able to catch that. Which is why, you know, I'm kind of glad that my current work at least has a bit of read access privileges on various, like, repos around the company. And on top of that, you you don't have access to uh, read any kind of resources, which is just, like, it's a bit of a hitch, but... You know, if you're trying to, like, say, develop in dev, and you've got data that's sitting in dev, and you can't read it, because, you know, you're not allowed to read the prod one, so why are you not allowed to read the dev one, but, eh, that's fine. So, that's something that I feel like this should be a lesson for security, because internally, like, you're a software company. Your pride and soul should be the software, and not the data, first of all. Like, I feel like that's a bit of a weird, like, one-two, and I know that's a bit weird. But, like, legit, it's like the software keeps your company from not being, like, completely stolen. The, uh, the data is what keeps your, like, active user base. But it's not your company. Unless you do data mining or something. In which case, yeah, uh, like, maybe your software's trash. Um... Yeah, actually, I guess there's a lot of companies out there where it's, like, the data is probably more important. 
Um, I guess companies with easily replicatable software. Um, and that's why I feel like, you know, the best kinds of software out there are the ones that are, like, they're unique enough that, like, it's, you know, well, not unique, but, like, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's unique such that they're not copying anything that already exists. The solution they're doing is non-trivial, so, like, you know, no one can easily copy them. And they've still got a substantial, like, market of people who do want to use it. I feel like that's, you know, the absolute best case. Um... I feel like Twitch is something where it's like, what they've implemented is pretty alright. I don't think people have like tons of issues with uh, with uh, Twitch itself. Uh, I, I do have a bit of an issue with like how, you know, ads are interleaved into things, but... You know, I think that's a bit more of a personal one than a technical one. Although sometimes, like, I have ads come in and it's just like... You know, the video is buffering and the ad needs to finish, but it's also doing the stream underneath. And it's like, whatever bandwidth, like, I'm currently getting is just a bit, like, you know, it's a bit weird in that sense. Oh, gosh. My back's a bit achy, too much sitting in a chair. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's the more the take on. And it's not, like, it's not necessarily the content of the Twitch leak. Uh, but it's the fact that, hey, yeah, this stuff can happen. And surprisingly doesn't happen as much as it probably could. Turns out I was looking for just a tiny little little switch at the end. Which reveals more cats. Who would have expected more cats to be at the end of the switches? This level's going on for a bit. I think it's just because it's got like a lot of like sections to it. And I seem to investigate all the sections. I believe this is the way you climb back up. It's a bit more of a mishmash kind of level. It's got a lot of a lot of parts to it. Alright. I know 100% there's going to be another bolt. Yeah, there it is. Alright, cool. I actually think this level's about to end here, but... At least if I'm remembering off the top of my head. Alright, cool. I was a little worried as well that like some of these levels would be too short. And that'd just be like, well, that'd be the whole stream. Be just like me playing these like short levels. Ah, uh, nothing screams style like having a bit of, you know, actual leap of faith. These aren't leaps of faith, but... Uh, we got cat facing the wrong way. We got health in that direction, but we've also got shotgun ammo. Is the shotgun ammo worth it? Yes. You can tell by the amount of times I've been shooting the shotgun this stream. I know I'm going to need it, if there's one thing. What? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's my thought on the Twitch leak. That's it. That's all I got. Uh... Hopefully you liked it. Oh, oh, one last one. Uh, why does Twitch use so much Golang? Controversial opinion. Golang is a bit of a fad. Someone's gonna hate me on that one. I, I there's some things I love about the, the the language in terms of like being a language feature, uh, but I also use C sharp, and I feel like it's that kind of overlap where it's like, you know. The few features I need... Actually, like, if I was to have a bit of a rant, I'd say, like, the benefits of Golang I, I see are because those people haven't used C Sharp, and so if they're jumping to a new language, then, yeah, Golang does tick a lot of boxes like that. Um, not saying that, like, C Sharp is the best language out there, but it's definitely one that, like, I like a lot, and a lot of people I know seem to actually like it a bit. bit. You gotta have another crocodile just to top it off. Just to top it off. We're still going. I thought this was actually going to be the end of the level there. This is, this is important ammo shells. Chomp. Uh, that's, that's a wall. That's a wall?
just go for a bit of a breather and then duck down because the crocodiles are coming at me again. Oh my gosh. Oh. Is there a switch I just didn't recognize or? I, yeah, there was. There was. Nice. Don't chomp. No chomp. Alright, cool. There's cats. That's, that's not particularly better. Ah. Cats everywhere. Oh my gosh. This is, nah, this is a, a small health. I've got eight small health. I can- and this is shotgun opportunity. This is- oh yeah. That's why it's there for. That's what it's there for. Cool. From what I remembered, I thought this part of the level was actually, um, part of the next level, but no, it's this part. Too many cats. Pretty sure the level ends pretty soon though, but... Uh, cool. Cool. Boulder. I was lured by the items and that seemed to be... Oh, I th <laughs> thought I saw another cat. Too many cats. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the games that I've been playing this week have been, uh... The main two ones that I want to kind of mention, and this leads into a bit of an interesting topic, but I thought it'd be fun to talk about the games first, uh, were Driver 1 and 2 for the PS1. Uh, I had played them because I saw Driver 1 being a, like, you know, a game that was considered as a best of the system kind of game. I have not played- Oh, of course. Well, I've only got small, small health, so I might as well use it, but, oh boy. It was not a fun experience just then. Ah, oh, do I really? I'm not good at this, apparently. I, I swear, I save scum so much normally, and then when I get on, on stream, it's like suddenly no, no save scumming. I do this all in one go, one take. One take. And instead, I don't even, like... <sighs> This is why the stream is going to go on for a fair bit. That's okay. The goal of the stream is to play this whole level pack. Whatever it takes. The crocodiles did not chomp my legs off the last time, but they did this time. Yeah, so I played Driver 1 and 2. I played them entirely uh, in, I'd say, like three and a half days, both both games. I got a... Oh, oh, yeah, speaking of GitHub, I'm now in the GitHub Issues beta. I'm looking forward to using that a bit. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's an announcement. Um... Yeah, so Driver 1 and 2. Uh, they didn't take me too long. Um, I saw Driver 1 as being a, a best of PlayStation 1 game in a fair number of lists. And uh, all I really knew about it was it was a game that... I don't know if it directly inspired some parts of GTA 3, but it does feel like, um, you know, proto-GTA in that aspect. It's got the open world, it's got the driving around. Driver 2 has the getting out of the car thing, which works okay. I didn't actually mind it. Some people do. Um, but, uh, but other than that, it's a game where you drive to a place and do a thing and drive somewhere else and the police try and ram the heck out of you. Maybe I should bolt it. Nah. Nah. Just hit him from a distance. Hit him from a distance. There's one at the end here. Is he gonna awaken on me? Ooh. Ooh. Where'd he go? That's the end of the level. Cool. Alright. 
Uh, back to pistols, but that's okay. Alright, cool. One level down. Three to go. Uh, I'm trapped in a room. This feels a bit non sequitur. I assume it's because you drop into a pit chasing after this guy. Um, let's see how much of this level I do remember. Not a ton, but... There must be more, actually, because I remember there being way more to the outdoor bit, so maybe it's in both levels. They give you a lot of this ammo, don't they? Yeah, oh well. I'm actually going to switch to the magnums as well, because I feel like there's bound to be a lot of enemies, so I'm going to need a bit of grunt killing. Like, you can't hit this guy. He's running over there. He's, he's chilling out. Yeah, okay, this is what I was thinking. So this level just immediately goes outdoors. Now, this is an interesting level. I believe the goal is there's a lot of keys. Oh, is that it? Hi there. I guess he's gone. Cool. <laughs> Just blows up on me. Oh, hi there. Hi there, how you doing? You see how many boulders were just like waiting, by the way? Oh, I'll come back because I'm on the ground. There he goes. Yeah, look at that. I'm just seeing like one, two, three, four, five on screen right there. That's an absolute danger area. Let's save the game before I walk over it. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there goes two. Oh, there goes three. Uh, yeah, I was like, hmm, that sounds like it would go off. Now this one's going to be a bit of a tricky one. I guess I can jump back from that angle. Okay. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave that corner to just being a corner. Uh, we got a box here. What's the box doing? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. What do I need to push this box for? Because this also, like, this goes, this is a slope. So, this just, this is going to wander around. Who knows? Um, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Driver 1. Driver 1 was a pretty alright game. Uh... You play as a guy who I believe is supposed to be an undercover police cop and he's taking down crime scenes and he pretends to be a getaway driver and he does a pretty good job at that and that's what makes him pretty alright. So you go around and you uh, do some simple missions like oh some people finish a bank heist and you want to just drive into a location and then some people are doing a hit on another guy and eventually, eventually you start, you know, exposing these people and having an opportunity to chase them and, uh, you know, ram their car and arrest them basically uh that's the goal of the game uh you go through four cities in the game which i feel like that's actually an unspoken like bit uh maybe some people at the time really like pointed it out but i'm like you know that's actually like really cool i have four mm, generally visually different like cities um they both have day and night sorry all four of them have a day and night and it rains and it can rain which is pretty cool and they all have um like, alright, rain effects, they've got some landmarks. <laughs> Not a ton, but they, they do, they're there. Um, and the cities are all in memory loaded when you get into them, which is cool. Uh, so, I give pretty big props to, like, the amount of stuff that they tried to cover in the game. And honestly, I'm not too disappointed with the content. Like, even after the, um, the story is over, the, um, you know, there's a couple of side modes, such as, like, there's checkpoint challenges, there's, um, you know, like, a timed, uh, you know, defeat the guy, there's a timed, like, see how far you can go while getting chased by cops. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I actually thought it was pretty alright, so, um... My downsides with the game, the performance was really, really, like, uh, it's a bit rough, even for I mean, it's the PS1, so I'm not expecting an absolute miracle, 
but it does start running into like single digit camp fairly often. This guy better lay off the chips. I hate that like his AI is just like, yo, I'm gonna phase onto you. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna continue getting him. One more go. There you go. Uh, yeah, the performance is, is kind of weird. Um, and that's something that, like, it does get me a bit. It's not a huge deal breaker because, uh, like, a lot of games at this time, the uh, game logic is tied to frame rate. I guess that's one where it's like, uh, on PC, people will complain the heck about this. If your game runs poorly, and, and slash or, sorry, if you tie game logic to frame rate, because that's another, like, cardinal sin, um, and granted, that one's actually pretty honest, because it's like, hey, if the game runs at a 120 FPS, like, I don't want it to run twice as fast. Uh, limiting the frame rate, uh, or having to limit the frame rate is never fun. Um, but on a console, that's kind of actually, like, something that I feel every company should, well, not every company, but, like, every game should be tied to its frame rate on console. Um, unless you're playing online, then you kind of can't get away with that um but still like th there's that kind of degree uh i've got one of these keys and i'm wandering around going like mm, i don't even know where you put the keys yet uh can i reach that not yet i'm also like climbing this pyramid i'm going like mm, like i got to the top now what um what else it's got a the car variety is like it there's a couple of cars but it didn't feel like too varied um i think it's because you don't have any control of the uh of the types of cars you're driving um so you just the mission will ask you to drive well sorry you're just in a car and then that's it um i also felt one other thing that kind of got a bit in the way is that the mission variety was a bit repetitive as well um it seems that, and, and some of the missions were just, like, real rough. Real, like, tough to, to, um, to do. Uh, I remember there's one late game where, uh, uh, let's see, like, you gotta drive to a spot. It's in, it's not in a park, but it's like you gotta drive through a little gate. And then uh, there's two police cars that just, they're not there. But you're also already, like, kind of, you can get spotted by police. And then you drive there and you immediately have three police absolutely, like, tail you out into that area. And you've got to drive all the way back across the city with, like, these police just absolutely coming at you. And it's, um, it's very, very difficult because they don't give you many options to get away from them. Um... So it's a, it's a real, like, tough one. The very last mission is notorious for, um, uh, for being absolutely unfair. I got it so incredibly lucky. A and, like, uh, if anyone's played, uh, I, I had this kind of analogy. If you've ever played The Simpsons Hidden Run, you know how in the first level there's, like, that little rocket car? And it's like, it, you know, it absolutely speeds forward, but you can't steer it to heck? Well, imagine you have about, like, four AI constantly trying to do that to you. Except they're always at least dead accurate when they're aiming at you. It's just that if you can... Actually, even in some cases, it's like if you swerve and they're coming on coming... Sorry, if, the, if they're coming at you, it's like, yeah, they can just swerve towards you and get you. And now what? Um, oh, oops. Yeah, I want to see maybe I, I should be pushing this. Maybe I should pull it the other way. Because I was like, eh, it's flat for, for two goes. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't look like it. Oh, it's shotguns. Okay, what's going on? Uh, what other parts have I not gone to? Because, yeah, I went down here and this inevitably just got me a key and I don't feel like there's anything out of it. Um, I've got two keys. Two keys. I remember there being a big room for me to put the keys in. So I wonder if uh, the goal is back down where I came from. And I just like, I wandered up here without 
exactly scouting it out the whole way. This guy's still here, so... It's not all bad. Uh, we've got these two... Yeah, like... We've got a path over here, but I don't know if this is... Oh, hi! Ah, <laughs> uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna come alive. Frampton comes alive right here. There it is. <laughs> I was like, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Just keep, keep spinning. Oh, mmm. Mmm. The explosions. The explosions would have got me. But they're not rendering for some reason. I don't know why. Doom does this as well, where it's like it freezes the enemies. Or like it, you know, it'll actively just like choose when to freeze or unfreeze enemies. And it's just the most obnoxious thing. Okay, alright, way better of an attempt. Way better. Uh, so what does that switch do? Because I started over here. This is where it was. So I dropped down here. Walked over here. Now I've activated a switch there. Unless that switch was just there to activate health. It might have been actually. There's nothing else really down here. Done. Done. Uh... Yeah, overall, I thought Driver 1 was pretty alright. Uh, oh, and the beginning intro tutorial. That was the bit that people notoriously said was really hard. Uh, for reference, what it is is that you've got to do about nine tricks in a car park. And the car park is a bit, you know, it's a bit small and cramped. Um, the tricks are pretty basic, but trying to pull them off is a bit tricky. And you've only got 60 seconds and you can only touch, you know, walls or cars four times before they tell you, yeah, nah. Um, so it's a, it is a bit tricky, and it does kind of, like, it did take me quite a number of goes. Um, not an absolute ton? I, that's why I wouldn't say it's, like, the, the absolute trickiest part of the game, but it definitely wasn't easy. Oh, here we go. Alright, two keys. Up here. Easy. Sticker in there. What's with these camera pulls? Very artsy, very interesting. This calls for a save. Uh, I guess this came out in 1998, so they, they had made... The second game has flares. <laughs> they know that they can play around with the lighting in later games, but I don't know if they... Oh. Oh. Cat. Flat cat. That's a secret? That's a secret? Okay. This feels like where I need to go. In here. But it also feels like there's a switch that I needed to pull. So... I don't know if it's necessarily where I need to go. Uh, it's more dark corridor. I am just running until I hit a wall and then just kind of assuming where I need to go. Um, oh, I guess I could do the classic strat. I don't know if this is going to work. Nah. It works in later Tomb Raiders, but it's, I guess it's not working in this one. Wait, hold on. Was that a way to go? Ah, there you go. Who did this? Who said, yeah, 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 pitch black maze. You guys are probably having to readjust your eyes again. Uh, but yeah, no, the game was alright. I'd give it an alright recommendation. It's not absolutely amazing, and darn, did they drop me down into... 
this beginning part of the level? They did, yeah. Wait, no, they didn't, because this is definitely... Why did it drop me down again? Okay, I, I guess it's sucking me out, so maybe it's easier to just not drop down ever. Oh, and there's a light switch in here. Even better. Even better. I just never pulled the light switch. Oh, but that probably closes the door. Yeah, okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. What's the point if I needed a light switch in order to see where the walls were anyways? Oh well. It's a very, very interesting secret. So in comes Driver 2. This game came out the year later in 2000, um, and this game, uh, the first thing that I noticed was it came on two discs, which I feel like is kind of interesting. It's still the same kind of structure of a game. Uh, one thing is that you don't get a choice of levels uh, to choose from for the, oh, sorry, for the missions. So in the first game, you'd be prompted, like, and I, I actually kind of like this mission select where it's like you're on, you're in your hotel room. And, uh, you get various phone calls, or phone messages, and, uh, it's your choice, like, which message you want to follow. And that's just your mission select. And all the, all the missions are actually kind of, like, you know, ex I guess they're exclusive in the sense of, like, that level is only available at that time. Uh, and then it's just, that's how the branching paths work. It's, like, some levels, you know, you do one thing, and some levels you do another, and that's just your choice. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. The second game is exclusively linear it's purely you do a level and then you get a cutscene and then you do a level and then you get a cutscene and so on um which i think is better and worse it's better that you get the ability to you know that you're not actually missing out on anything and also you get a replay level feature um which is pretty all right whereas uh, yeah the first game was just you know you gotta have to play the game again that's okay uh doors closed doors shut were the doors only open for a bit of time? Maybe. Yeah, so do I have to swim up? That looks like... I don't know where anything is right now. Hold on, so why is this sucking me in this direction if I can't... Yeah, like, if I'm close to the center, it's sucking me down into the center? You see what I mean? And this door is not open. I guess I'm just gonna save and or load and try it again? That's a bit weird. That's a bit very bizarro. Oh well. Um Yeah, so yeah, so the second game, right off the bat, it does not have the tutorial, the missions start off immediately at the, um, just, you know, you're starting to do stuff. This is a bit weird, though, because I don't know if your guy is still supposed to be an undercover cop. He's the same character, I think. He's got the same name. Well, I guess, yeah, I'll just rush out of the door instead of caring about those guys. We got Crocs, again. Why not? Yeah, so this is the room that I'm remembering. Trust picking up the magnum ammo with a croc there. Hi there. How you doing? Uh, now I just gotta find how to climb up. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of these crocs. I love this animated wall texture. They animated the wall here of, like, this cat, like, running. It's... It's hilarious. Uh, so here we have another key. There are... Yeah, this is what I remember. I remember there being a ton of keys, like, somewhere in here. Um... The 
this is a push. And that's gonna bring me a cat. There you go. Get that cat out of there. More magnum ammo. Do I really need it? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, then then the game continued. I It introduced a new mechanic where you could get out of your car uh, awkwardly by holding down triangle and up. And I could not for the life of me get that to work with the analog control. So that was a bit of a weird one. I didn't really quite like that. Um, and then you get out of your car and suddenly it's tank controls. But also not only just that, but it's very awkward. Yeah, it's only five keys here. Um, this tank controls where the best way of control is to hold down X to accelerate, to walk forward, and then steer yourself with left and right. So, I, out of the car, you control like a car, which is hilarious, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought that was a bit of a weird one. But it does mean that in some missions, uh, you're able to get out of the car and get into another one, thereby just circumventing having the problem of your car brakes and you're like oh darn um so i actually kind of like that it also didn't have any like absolutely horrendously hard missions it definitely had a handful of very tricky ones but nothing too like you know too ruinous on me um the very last level of the first game took me like a solid number of hours. Uh, but I'd never had any problem like that too much in the second game. I think the, the last level took me a handful of attempts. I remember there being one other level uh, that took me a good number of goes. Um, but uh, yeah, it actually went fairly smooth. Um, I found that, yeah, it was a bit of an easier game as well because of that. But, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. The first game was rather difficult and... It's only spared by the fact that the levels are not too long and you can generously save between every single, like, loading screen. Um, which I think is something that a lot of PS1 games, like, don't let you do. They're actually kind of mean on that one. I've got four keys, but that looks like I need five. Like, I'm seeing four on my screen and then one to my left. Yeah. So there must be one that I've just walked past. There are all these, like, cat symbols as well. So maybe that's one in the center. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing? He's just chilling. He's He's come for the tea. Uh There's also a door over there, and that makes me just think that there's maybe like a little bit more that I haven't seen. And also a lot of these cats keep coming out of nowhere. Are they hinting at anything? I don't know. So there's definitely, I don't think there's any, like, oh, is that the key? No, that's a cat. It's just a dead cat. Why not? Um, yeah, you can't drop down yet. I've got these doors on the side. Well, might as well put the keys in. This isn't going to take long, you know? Oh, well. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, so now she's like, yeah, nah. Uh, so, yeah. Now, I felt that the second game was just more of the first game. The second driver was kind of just more, more driver. Uh, which, there's nothing, like, really wrong with that. Um, but it did mean that, uh, 
you know, it didn't it didn't quite wow me as much as the first one did, and by wow, I mean, yeah, it was pretty alright anyways. I didn't think the first one was, like, tons amazing, but I thought it was like, yeah, it's fair, and it's doing quite a fair bit of interesting stuff. The second game, I would have thought, would just be like, okay, so it's ironed out some things of the first game, kind of introduces some of its own problems, but, you know, they're not problems that the first game did better, they're just problems because it tries more things. Um, oh, there's one thing that the second game does have. It's a bit more level variety as well. Um, there's one level where I drove a bus, and that's good fun. Any game where you can drive a bus is great. I don't care. Um, and sometimes at the beginning of a level, you get a choice of a number of vehicles that are just sitting at the beginning of the level. And I thought that's pretty cool as well. So, there's that. Um... Oh, actually, I remember the one level that did kind of pee me off. It was a seven minute level where you had to ram four cars. And you could definitely, you could get out of your car and into a new one, but you, I felt like, man, you know, like either it happens much quicker than you really, you know, need, or it takes forever. And if it takes forever, you gotta do the seven minutes all over again. Um, so it's not fun in that aspect. Um, so now I believe, yeah, so these doors are open. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep, okay, I know exactly what I'm in for. For the health, for the shotgun shells. There's a death slide there. Uh... But yeah, so that that's my opinions of it. Now, I wanted to look up what were what were the uh, opinions of people at the time because that's something I always like kind of knowing is uh, the historical context. For is there more to this area? Yeah, there must be because that looks like I can jump across a gap and then slide up. So, um, yeah, okay. Yep, okay, I can see where this is going. Um, so I looked it up on Metacritic Driver, uh, and some of you guys might have played it, so feel free to share your opinions of Driver on the PlayStation 1. Uh, on Metacritic, and this is 1999 Metacritic, it has an 87, which is a real good score to have, especially in the late 90s. The second game has a 62. And some of that is contributed by the same people. I forgot the name of the guy, but I looked up. Whoever reviewed both games on IGN, the same guy, he gave the first one a 9.7 and then gave the second game a 5.0 out of 10. And this is really bizarre to me because he sounds like he has a pretty, like, all right, you know, an overinflated score for the first one. Like, he does complain about a few things, but then he just kind of says, oh, it doesn't detract from the experience too much. And then he talks about the second game and complains about, in my eyes, kind of equally as, you know, obnoxious things. And he absolutely floors the game in the second one. I don't even understand the second one. Oh, I should also uh, explain with the uh, two discs. It's purely the, the, um, the story cutscenes. It seems that despite the game being another, you know, four environments thing, both this have four environments on on them. It's just the story like demands that you switch at some point. Um, so you just put in disc one and you can play the whole game basically um, until you need the second half of the story. Then you switch to disc two, and that's it. It does mean I guess you're not switching too often. There's some games out there where it's it, they they make you switch a horrendous amount because they just don't have that much redundant content between the discs. Um, fortunately, I haven't played too many PS1 games that are like that. Nothing screams Tomb Raider like having to wander around a flooded room, you know? Did I just get baited into this, like, corridor? Alright. Alright, I'm hoping that if I go into the center, there's a way to swim up. Right away. There we go. Look at that! Flawless victory, right there.
All right, there's bound to be a lever in here or something. Uh, <laughs> I can't get him. I, I can't get the croc because there's no, no ground to pull the guns out. And... I... Uh, I hope it's this way. Well, I'm running out of air, so... Uh, Nah. Nah, I'm like, ah, uh, I've risked it too much. I started swimming down when I only had like half the air. I needed the whole air. Uh, but yeah, I felt this was an interesting one. Because it's like, these are two very similar games in my eyes. So I guess it's more that like, if you were impressed by the first one, uh, this guy sounds like you'd be disappointed by the second one because it is... Um, too much of the same game, and that's a that's a wonderful segue back to this topic. It's too much of the same game. I'm swimming around loops, aren't I? Yeah, wow. Too much of the same game, and uh... on top of that, he did complain about performance. I feel like it was like a double-edged sword. It's like I thought I felt the first game had a bit too little of variety in its cities. The second game definitely has that, but it also comes at the cost of, like, the performance absolutely dipping at times. Um, like, real bad. Like, I feel like 5 FPS at some points. Uh, there must be, like, a lever or something somewhere. But, but where? Um, maybe I should look a bit harder. Uh, is that a lever? No. Well, there's a crocodile in the way, so it's not the easiest to tell. No, that's not a lever. The longer I look at these walls, I keep thinking of Gex. So, yeah, I I guess that's an interesting thing, and I guess we can talk about uh, game reviewers in, in this day. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Those pesky game reviewers. Uh, but, wow, I swam past this so many times that I didn't even notice that, like, one, the wall texture was changing on me, and then two, that that was a thing. So now I've got to figure out where the original room was. Um, should be too bad. Isn't it, like, just, like, up from here, though? Yeah, okay. Uh... Oh, I guess it's this way? I don't know. These rooms are pretty similar. I don't trust... I don't trust at all what they're doing here. Bro, if they show some mummies on me, I swear. There's some mummies in here. Cool. Is he gonna show up? Hi there. And he's gone. Oh, this, this pal's alive. Uh, but yeah, I guess, I guess, uh, with, on the context of game reviews, um, I, I, I feel like I've said this story a bunch. I remember looking up to fellas like, um, uh, I'd, I'd mentioned Greg Kasavin because his, uh, uh, at GameSpot, his review of Metro Prime really inspired me and really kind of said, like, you know, like, this game is, like, really amazing. And it's got its problems, but he, you know, made it, made it very clear of, like, you know, where the problems, uh, lay and, and, you know, what kinds of issues he had from that and, oh my gosh. 
Okay. That's a boulder. And so what? Did I just open the door? Why is there a boulder here? We've got a staircase that descends and then comes back up. I'm not too sure what kind of structure I'm looking at, but sure. We've got more cat. Uh, <laughs> hi there. Maybe if I do the jump, the crocodile will activate. He, he activated for a brief moment and then was scared up. So much ammo, jeez, by the way. Okay, we've got a door there. I guess that was just the door I opened. So what was the point of the... Boulder then? Who knows. Uh, but yeah, on the flip side, it's like, well, here's a review that came out at... Maybe a little earlier, because 99 and 2000. But it's like, it's very, like... Different to how I expected. I'm back in this room. I'm back in this room. What? What am I doing back in this room? Maybe I gotta go over the other door because there's another door. Gotta have some... They give me the Uzis? They are. There's a mummy. Hi there. Do I just leg it? At this point. Maybe I should just leg it. I, I worry there's too much level left. But there's also like way too many ammo pickups. Like this is not a comforting amount of ammo. Uh, there is health though. Yep, they're 100% alive behind me. Try me. Try me, bro. Try me. Okay. Let's just, let's just hit the lever, bro. Hit the lever. Oh, gosh. So now that opens the door that's up the top. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now I gotta leg it through these guys again. Okay, cool. Yeah, it doesn't help that they're faster than me. It does not help that they're faster than me. <laughs> Alright, well. Take it one step at a time. Oh, okay, cool. I guess I'm going back down here. They really enjoy Lara's company, don't they? They also hate this ledge down here. Very odd. Uh, but yeah, I guess, um, yeah, game reviewers, uh, and game reviews, um, yeah, I forgot who the guy was, but, yeah, if you look up whoever did IGN's review of Driver 2, and I know it's just one review, and even in particular it's one guy, but it's kind of, I guess, like something where it's like, he is... The guy at IGN who did review this game, and therefore it's got my IGN name slapped on it. Um. Well, that's a bit of an artsy, kind of, I can barely see the shadows of the room. Okay, I'm up the top. Now what? That's a drop. That's a drop and a half. Okay, cool. Ah. Oh. You can't let it up, can you? Oh, 
Oh, I'm going. I'm going down. I'm going down, down. And I t turn it around. I cannot believe it. So that's a death slope. Wait, so what about this one? I guess they just want me to die there? I guess that's what they're aiming for. Cool. Uh, I guess I could probably just jump down but oh I missed it by that much uh <laughs> oh I wasn't even oh those are your compass <laughs> oh my gosh I gotta see where I'm dropping down there. Alright, just here. Okay, and then a bit to the right. And then long jump. Long jump. Alright. All good. No, oh, not quite long. Oh. That was so painful. She kept screaming after she got skewered. Jeez. Okay. Oh gosh. Man, I'm, I'm already- I can't believe I'm already an hour and a half into the stream as well, and like, this is the second level out of, like, four. So, this will definitely be a bit of a- bit of a run, but, eh. I'll do my best. I'm still finishing it. Okay, jumping around at the speed of ground. What am I gonna do with more ammo? Who knows? Uh, ultimately, where do I want to go? I guess I'm just going that way, aren't I? I guess I can just jump up here and call it a day. I'm at the other side of the room. Where am I? Oh, I am. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Can I just walk past this? There's a switch behind him. Oh, and then the camera goes straight into his soul. There you go. Cool. And that guy is still there, isn't he? He's bound to be around here. There he is. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, game reviewers nowadays, uh, do I get to rip on on game reviewers and ah oh, what sometimes you just take so much damage uh but yeah i i feel like this like less and less i take the opinion of uh these uh, official game publication reviewers and i think it's because um a lot of them don't seem to line up with the way that i play my games and um and therefore like they'll they'll talk about things or they'll, they'll not describe things in the kinds of like nuance and uh I guess not like I'm not seeking confirmation bias but when I play a game and I have feelings about the game and then I like I don't see an official publication where someone kind of acknowledges that um and actually even even worse and I, I actually think that game reviewers should do this is uh like if they can feel that there's something there but they don't have a problem with it they should still talk about it I feel like that's something that I have, where it's like, well, no, I would do so much better of a job. But you know what I mean? It's like, like, I feel like there's some things I don't like in some games, but I understand why other people would like it. Um, like, I absolutely loathe, um, uh, like, not cutscenes, because that, that's not fair, but I feel like there's a lot of games nowadays where it's like the cutscenes really, like, sway the pacing and i find that something where it's like well on the other hand i can understand like some people liking you know more cutscenes being in the game 
Um, I feel like I would acknowledge that as, like, that's a point, but I don't necessarily think, like, that's a bad thing for everyone. Um, and, and also, how about games, just in general? Hi, there you go. Uh, games with, like, multiplayer progression systems. Like, that's one where it's, like, universally, I have never been able to get into a game that's been doing that, but is it a bad thing? Well, not necessarily. So, I feel like game reviewers should try to be the best at kind of pinpointing every mechanic and kind of saying that like hey you know this is good or this is working and this is not working uh this affected me and this is something that i feel like you know may affect like you but didn't affect me or something like that um and uh yeah i, I feel like we'd be all hungry dory instead i feel like there's a lot of game reviewers out there who describe game mechanics in ways uh, that aren't very nuanced. Uh, in fact, quite a lot of them kind of recount the game without really describing, like, you know, how things work. There's a lot of, like, I liked this, and I liked this. This was repetitive. I did not enjoy this. And it's like, hey, like, can we be a bit constructive? Can we find, like, some, you know, wonderful, like, bit of input to go off? I don't know what... Oh, I opened a flap. That's I was like, I was like, where did where did that open? Can't believe this level is still going as well. This is like crazy. Yeah, that's a bit weird looking, but sure. Keep snaking around this level though. That's a thing. I do remember this room with the uh, Sphinx icons kind of munted. And then you step in the middle, and then like that opens up from beneath you. And then you can continue on. Yeah, there we go. Do I remember this room, this timed room? Maybe. I think I remember. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. I remembered it. Alright, so this is almost the end of the level. Not very kind here. I'm really not that kind. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this area, I believe, what it actually is, is that there's, like, a handful of routes into the next room, and it takes two switches. Now, this one's got, like, some skulls on the top, so it must be real easy. <laughs> Not even a chance at that point. Alright, so there's that. The skulls. Uh, we've got a third one. It's got more cats. Alright. Let's see how this goes. I guess I'll just leave. Sure. Okay, we'll take that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do I get a rip on game reviewers all the time? Uh, yes, because they get paid for it. I feel like it, it's... I don't know. <laughs> like, like I, I say this knowing full well that if I got paid to review games, I would expect, like, harsh criticism. Because it's like, hey, that seems like a dream come true. Uh, to some extent. I know, like, deadlines and, and like, playing games that you really don't care about never the most fun but you are playing to write about video games for a living i feel like there's a degree of you should connect with me more not that you shouldn't be getting paid and not that you shouldn't be doing kind of the things you're doing but i wish that like the kinds of people who are getting into that that sounds harsh as but you know what i mean it's like there there are some people who do review games for a living and just do not like, click with me. And I wouldn't mind if, like, inevitably, like, oh, there's a major publisher out there who does have a reviewer when they review, you know, games that I play, that they'll have a reviewer whose opinions kind of do line up with my own. Because I guess that's the big problem. When their opinions don't line up with me, 
I don't take their opinions the next time. And so if they like a game, I don't really, like, you know, go, oh, like, you know, IGN gave it a 9.7 out of 10. It must be good. I look at it now going, well, I didn't like the last 9.7 out of 10 they told. Well, they said. So, uh, I don't know if I'm up here too soon or if I do the jump. That looks, that does look a bit far, but, well, it's worth a try. It does, it, that is really far though. I don't think that's, oh my gosh, that actually is doable. Okay. Because yeah, this, this level, you've got this giant, like, cat. <laughs> cat, why not? Just more cat. Uh, oh, there's a ledge here. I can stand on it. I see ya. They're really, really, really huggable, these, these mummies. There's another one. Gosh, so many enemies. I don't remember there being this many. Uh, I assume this just loops around the, the outside, so is there something on the back that I should be looking at? Not particularly, unless that opening is like something, but I don't think that is. I think that is just the way that I got in to the cat the first time. Because it's going down. Yeah, nah, that definitely is. Alright, so there must be some kind of, you know, jungly aspect to around here that I must be looking at. Um, we've got some slopes here. I guess we've got a room. Maybe, maybe I should have been looking at the room back here. It looks like I probably could have only entered here via the, the doorway that I just walked in. Here we go. Uh, is this a trap? Yeah, probably. It's either a trap or it's just even more ammo. Right up here. Right up here. Here we go. Okay. Some fun last second platforming. Uh, that jump is too far, but that's okay because they give you a ledge over here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm probably harsh from reviewers. Uh, but... I mean, it's a profession. And, uh, honestly, it's like, you know, the the worst, and I guess, yeah, the worst I can say is I'm just not going to count their opinion for future purchases, which is, it's, it's not a great thing. And also, it's not a great thing for these sites that do, you know, they do rely on this advertising money. Like, unfortunately, that is effectively losing me as a customer. Um, and I guess... Yeah, like, that's... that's a tricky thing. Speaking of tricky thing, here we go. One, two, three. Last second move, why not? I still love this, like, starry ceiling. It's just... it's hilarious. And it's weird, because, yeah, the second game does have proper skyboxes. So I guess maybe they just didn't want to implement it, like, right away. Because they were like, oh, tombs, you're indoors. That's fine. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, where, where do they want you to jump here? To the eye? That looks like a slope. That is not a slope. Okay. I'm on the cat. There's a mummy on the cat. I'm going down. I'm going down. And there goes Lara's neck. Yet again. Yet again. Okay. How come sometimes those jibs like blow me up and sometimes they don't? Oh well. Uh, so I don't know if this lever just ends the level. 
Ah, oh, no, no, no. The cat sticks out its tongue. Why not? Uh, and I believe you can just slide down the top, can't you? Hi there, cat. Alright. Oh, I, I can't, I can't get away from him that easily. I probably could have done that without taking the hit, but... Uh... I love this, like, fleshy interior, like... Realistically, it probably is just carpet, but it's just like... Why? <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, uh... Run outside, and that is it. That is the Egypt levels. So now, now what the game does, this this uh, unfinished business, is that it takes place uh, directly at the end of the main game. So at the end of the game, you're sliding down a slope, uh, trying to get out of Atlantis, and uh, now you are just still in Atlantis. That did not, <laughs> whatever that slope was, that did not get out of here. So, I kind of like it. Um, I don't feel like either of, or any of these levels were intended to be, like, what the game, like, you know, finishes as, or, or really should have had. This is a secret? Do I still have my stuff? I still have my stuff. Okay, so I guess Lara, and it's weird, because, like, I think canonically this happens before, like, as in, you know, she leaves... She comes back to Egypt at the end of the whole thing and finds this other hidden tomb. Uh, but then, yeah, I guess, just... <laughs> here she is, somehow having that stuff at the end of Atlantis? Cool. Okay. So... There may be some things that we'll recognize, but I don't know if we necessarily will. Uh... How about boulders? Will we recognize boulders? I've seen them before. How dare they? Uh, definitely need more of them fleshy corridors as that. Uh, this is... Oh boy. I do... I, I remember this. So at least as that. Um, let's see what I've got. I've got Uzi ammo. I'll go with the Uzis. At least these guys blow up. Something satisfying about that. So I believe that is the... That's not even the beginning. That's just like its own room over there. Uh, is that... Is that a little hidey hole? Oh, gosh, I don't, I don't trust getting that. That's a bit dangerous. Oh, and s you know, violation right there. Again, I love the fleshy walls. There's just something so, like, you know, unsettling about, uh, and, and I, I find this is a beautiful thing about, like, the 90s, is, like, this, like, strange, surreal, like, trying to push realism, but definitely nowhere being there, and that's even with, like, the, you know, the 2D kinds of experiences. Like, some of these games are just very bizarre looking, and I love it. Um... Oh, I'm, I'm looking at this ledge going, hmm, this is... This doesn't look quite right. Like, I can... I remember, like, jumping down. But I don't really... Did I just... Okay. Oh, why is my run button not working? Oh, my gosh. English. Why is my run button not working? Not walking is... Doubling up. Hi there! Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so if you enjoyed these guys at the end of the game, then feel free to continue enjoying them, because they're still going to pester me. Come on, come on. Well, I guess I'm at the bottom now. There are boulders everywhere, apparently. And he's still exploding. And there's another one. There's another one over there. Okay. I don't think there was really any, like, huge reason to be on top. Maybe I'm missing out on something, but I... Yeah, I do remember just, like, jumping down and then having a fun time on, like, that, like, weird ledge that's, uh, lying over there. Anyways, I got too many, uh... Too many non-sequiturs in my stent, uh, sentences. 
but I feel like I kind of hit all my uh, topics of the, the day. Oh. Although that did last me a fair bit. The only other game that I really was playing was... Um, I started playing Final Fantasy IV. It seems like... Uh, and, and this is a bit of a weird one. It feels like exactly as I thought Final Fantasy would be. Um, maybe it's down to the music as well, because there's a lot of Final Fantasy music that's like in that game that's, uh, I guess, definitive Final Fantasy. So I feel like I've heard it in other places and you know other kind of reinterpretations and stuff like that. Um, but it's like, okay, there's a set, you know, roster of characters, and the set roster of characters seems to have their own abilities, and they just level up, and that's kind of it. And I'm like, wow, that's actually, like, really straight fire. Whereas, like, all the other ones involve making your own, like, set of custom characters, or at least, I think, uh, three didn't have custom characters, necessarily. But they were custom roles, so it was all, like, a custom job system. Um, and in doing so, the balance of the team really depended on how well you understood the game's mechanics, which is uh, a bit of an odd one. I'm pretty sure this is not, that's not a slope you can stand on, but yeah, so that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, so I guess where do I go? Is that a pit? Maybe this is where I go. You gotta take a little bit of damage, but I... <laughs> My memory is definitely going from here. Uh, I guess I just dropped down. This feels like a real far jump. Yeah, no, it's a bit, it's a bit too far. Uh, I guess I should probably have saved them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've only been playing for two hours, so I'm not like tons far, but I'm definitely a bit in that I've got like at least some understanding of what's happening, but there's bound to be more going on later, later on. Um, I'm playing, by the way, I'm playing the, uh, old Steam version, so this is the, uh, and I, I swear, the PC port of a Android port of a DS recreation of a game that came out on the NES. Actually, no, this might have been a Super Nintendo game. It might have been... Yeah, it might have been on the Super Nintendo. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, it's... It's like, oh, it it's... It's a real... Like... You know, PC port. It's like, this is a game where there's giant text boxes with aerial text. Uh, there's... Like, the models are definitely straight off the DS. The frame rate is 15 in the combat for just arbitrary... You know, that's what the animation they used on the DS version maybe was I don't even know maybe it wasn't do I own Final Fantasy 4 on the DS I don't think I own 4 on the DS I own 3 on the DS so I could definitely compare that one but like 3's port ran fine 4's is very yeah it's it feels very stilted oh and there's a launcher that's open when I start the game and just there all the time so if I forget to delete it then whoops um there must be a better way. I guess I can jump back up here. And maybe do a diagonal jump. This is this is a bit of an interesting dilemma. Yeah, you can. And then Oh boy. I gotta do a diagonal jump. What is going on over here? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Nah, because you can't climb over this. This is just... <laughs> this is here. But I definitely feel like I need to get over to the other side. Um, I can't climb out. So... This feels very odd. Nah, this feels quite odd. You know, unless it's like, it's just one slope. Ah, it's, it's just, it's just a bit out of reach. It's just a bit out of reach. Okay, let's load the save, just so that I'm in the spot. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. You seeing how it is forcing me? So that makes me feel like just the hitbox is so much taller than it even is. 
But then I guess, yeah, if the hitbox is that much taller, then how do I get down? Because that does seem like it's the only way to get down. There's there's a pyramid here. I've got to be on that side. And it's not just, like, me having, you know, that much health. Like, oh no, if only I had that, like, tiny little bit more health, you know? Just being right on the edge and falling and surviving it on half health. I just, I don't know, man. Whoever whoever designed this level, I'm coming for you. Uh, so I guess here is a pyramid, more pyramid, more egg balls. They are yellow this time, and I don't know why. Uh, maybe I should be using the shotgun. I got plenty of shotgun ammo. There we go. Plus, they're also not fast, so... Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, that was a cutscene! Oh yeah, wow, that's like the underside of that, like, bit. Does Lara have any drop-off on her attacks? She just goes. Also, is this... This isn't the room from earlier, there's too much of a drop. Maybe it is the room from earlier, no, it's not, is it? It does kind of look like the, uh... Nah, that's definitely not the room from earlier. Yeah, I don't remember these levels being as long, so maybe it's not going to be a three-hour stream tonight, but... Uh, yeah. Oh man, my eyes were like so dead at the end of the last stream, I was just like, oh man. Because like, legit, I'm a morning guy, I wake up at like six, six o'clock in the morning, like all the time. Uh, I blame my mum when I was in like high school because it was just like oh you gotta get to school and school was way away and I'd have to basically leave the house at seven o'clock in order to get there on time uh, so I was like oh you better wake up at you know at least six and kind of you know be able to leave without being fully asleep uh, that's that's a good feeling just seeing that hatch over in the distance that's still a good feeling it's still hatching um, that's just shooting a wall there's a door there, these are basically just windows. There's lava. Uh, the only other path I can think of is jumping towards that, which might actually be the route. Yeah, it totally is. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna show them Atlanteans who's boss. I guess I'm the boss. That's me. Oh, the beating pulse stopped. And there's more shotgun ammo down here. I don't know if it's actually, by the way, I, all of this has been playing like the very generic like background music and I... Did you know these guys are in here? Oh boy. There's shotgun shells behind all of them as well. Gosh, at some point they're gonna wake up and just like start walking towards me. I'm like, oh no. And those f switches. Did that wake up one of them? Yep. Hi there. Okay, not the smoothest drop, but that's okay because there's more shotgun ammo. Hooray! <laughs> Victory! Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. So, so um, yeah. For those of you who are, you know, watching my vods, I guess, and not know the stream time, I'm streaming usually at eight thirty every day. Uh, well, not every day, every Monday. Um, and. Uh, that means that, yeah, if the stream goes for three hours, then I go to bed at 11.30 and then wake up at 6. And that's entirely on me for running my streams this late. It is currently 10.29 right now. Maybe I should have said it a bit earlier. Just <laughs> count for stream delay, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't know. I, I'm terrible. I, I'm not too bad at, like, staying up and not having an eight-hour sleep, but... Uh, I do feel like there's a, um... Oh my gosh, these are some miraculous thoughts. That guy about to run up here? Yeah, he totally is. Hi there. 
Whoa, he's cutting it fine. And he's giving me a bit of a spook. Okay, and then there's one whole switch that I have not pulled. That's what I felt. I was like, it was two switches to get you out of here. Um, yeah, at the very least, I guess I've got more shotgun shells at the bottom. Okay, they lied to me. That's not shotgun shells. Can't believe it. Can't believe I've been had like that. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I, I've never been one to, like, break my sleep schedule. Uh, and it's weird as well. Like, whenever daylight savings happens, I'm usually, like, one day, like, early. Like, I just, like, my brain just goes, well, I know it's gonna be, you know, daylight savings. I know the clocks are going forward an hour, so now it's 9pm instead of 10pm. I'm like, oh, what? Brain, why are you doing this? Or, 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 now it's 10pm instead of 9pm. And then I, I just fall asleep earlier. It's just like, oh, okay. He was having a bit of a dance in front of me. That's cool. Uh, again, more shotgun ammo. You need it, apparently. Actually, this is a bit of everything ammo. Nothing screams everything like everything ammo as well. Uh... Yeah, wait, hold on. So, yeah, I walked up this room. So it looks like something... I guess that was the bottom door opening, so I guess there must be a... yeah door at the other end that it opened. Oh, uh, I can safely say, if you've played like this like only once, you're definitely gonna get lost. Um, oh, sorry, if you've played it no, no times at all, you'll definitely get lost. Uh, this doesn't look like it goes anywhere because there's lava texture everywhere, so. Cool edge. Really appreciate it. But now I'm up here. That's what I thought. I was like, hmm, isn't there a, uh, a room in this direction? Did I move something up? Maybe there's another switch? I don't know what I, like, I know this one opened because of something down here, but... Yeah, what followed up from there? There were five switches up here. That's... that's a bit concerning if I... Let's see... yeah. Yeah, five switches. I've got the weird ceiling again. Uh, yeah, I've pulled every single one of the switches. So... Unless I hit something down. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Uh, I don't know if triggering a centaur to walk around was really my idea of fun, but... But he's in just that room, so... Maybe... Also, was that another one just over there? No. No, I'm actually hallucinating now. Cool. Too much fleshy texture and too much Tomb Raider. Maybe the pace of just, like, the original game is all you need, really. Like, just just leave it at that. That's 15 levels. That's all you need. So, um, you don't need the extra four. And the extra, like, this is definitely, you know, they're longer levels, even. But, hey, I guess if they were published two years after, they knew. They knew. It's like, um, if anyone's played Thief Gold, it's like, you can tell what the gold levels were. You can really tell. Maybe I'll just go back? Maybe. Should probably, probably drop a save while I'm at it. Here we go. Uh, I'm definitely hearing him, but that sounds like he's underneath. And I don't see any doors. Except for here. Oh, yeah, I did open this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bro, he's vaporized. He's gone. He's out of here. Jeez. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, well, that doesn't look, you know, temperate. But this is a... It's still not temperate. <laughs> Oof. And this is a camera angle, but it's also not the way to go, so maybe I jump back. Yeah. Classic. Classic Tomb Raider. Uh, not lava, by the way. Well, it's lava in front of me, but not not what I'm standing on. You see? It's perfectly fine. Okay, and then <laughs> and then just onto the next bit of like hot ground, you know, just use even like the wall texture is like, yeah, it's the wall texture, it's fine. This is very like abstract, you wouldn't even like suspect that this is a officially real- Oh, hi there! Cool, very kind. And he's vaporized. Again. Why did they do this to me? Who knows? What did I ever do to the- I guess I annihilated their entire race. Honest mistake in it. Govna. <laughs> uh, so what's going on over on that half of the... The, uh... The cap, the chasm, the split splot um that just looks like it's oh i was gonna say that looks like it slides down and i'm like oh there's a bit of a bit of an opening there bit of an opening there we go and there we go that's yeah that's 100 percent how they continue the level very snaky very maze like we've got water um Oh, hi. Maybe there's too many jibs. Maybe the game's just like, oh gosh, I can't keep sending all these guys to blow up. Again, we got this like fun, you know, like hole in the floor kind of stuff, but as if they're going to put something important in there. And then, yeah, I can swim down here. But it doesn't look like there's anything, like, hugely significant. Just more ammo, which is always nice. Always nice to have some more shotgun. And then, other than that, you've got the guy terrorizing me up above. Which looks like it's a fun time. Absolute ruse. I'm enjoying it. And there's a switch. There is a switch. I just noticed. Don't worry. Hi there. How you doing? Alright, let's get that switch. Yeah, spotted that. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, indeed, I guess. Okay, more underwater doorway though. There's another switch, there's a second switch. I guess that didn't do anything? I don't know. Uh, let me just scout and see if I can find where that door was. <laughs> where was that door? Who knows? Alright, let's, let's hit this guy with one more shot. Or, or not die. Okay, so there's a room over here. Again, so many rooms. Switch. Door next to me. That looks like bait. But it might not be bait, it might just be an actual room. Ah, that totally was bait. It totally was bait, they got me. <laughs> no, I can't believe it. Ah, 
Can't believe it. Hi. Oh, whoops. Oh, he's gone. Is he coming back? <laughs> Needed like one more bullet. Alright, so I guess if I can't use that, am I on Magnums again? Yeah, I'm probably on Magnums for a bit. Burning through my ammo. It's a new way I'd like to not be. I'm just burning through my ammo. Is that another guy? It's all he is. He's just chilling here. That's a standing up pose as well. Like, he's... okay. It's very, it's very hard to follow these guys when you're in like a tight corridor like this. Once you're out of there, it's, it makes a lot more sense, but still. Why do they keep doing the bait? Why do they keep doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this? Here's another room, it's just off here, to the side. It's got a switch. I've got a door. Okay. And there's another one. Another switch. These remind me of the doors at the very beginning of the level. That is not the doors at the beginning of the level. They like right behind me. I guess no freedom for me just yet. Alright, and what's in the water? We've got shells. Cool. Keep swimming down. There's a switch. Maybe that's just what I needed. Definitely opened something, so that's a good sign. Okay, I can almost smell freedom. And my nose has been blocked for weeks. Okay, so this is now back into the first room. That's a guy. Hi there. Cool. And now we've got this door open. Is that the end of... The level? Maybe. <laughs> There's a guy up there. I'm sailing down. They're giving me more ammo. Why not? Yeah, did you see like how much I was using like, my pistols in the, the main game and like conserving real hard? And I guess I like went way too, you know, conserved all my ammo. I am holding down A, holding down X. It's not pulling, it ain't pulling. I just need to give it a save. She ain't pulling them. Very odd. It's weird, because, uh, yeah, there's a door there. So I'm gonna need to pull it at some point. That's... that's a bit strange. I... I'm trying to position myself. It ain't... it ain't quite... quite doing it. She just turns towards it, like, like, yeah, she, she is definitely turning towards it, but she's not. That's a bit odd. And yeah, there's a door on both sides, so something's gone up. Why am I unable to pull the levers? I'm pretty sure I'm able to pull them, they're underwater ones. They say light it. <laughs> wow, I'm okay. It was just this one switch the whole time. Oh, there's a door at the top. I think I might be able to climb up there, but I... oh, oh, he's he's doing pot shots. Or well, so am I. So ha. Huh. 
Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to go through another door. Cool. Uh, yeet. <laughs> oh, oh, I nearly fell for that one, but no, I didn't. Um. Yeah, okay. Walk through there and then climb up there. And then just like nip my... Oh yeah, a walking climb. That's a thing as well. It gets you up the ledge in like triple the time it would have taken you otherwise. Um... Okay, I guess there's magnum ammo here, and then the ledge that I can continue climbing around with? Uh, this feels kind of overkill. Yeah, this feels actually pretty overkill. Alright, back down into the water. Alright, so now we've got a fleshy door there. We've got more ammo. Something's open up for me. Alright, uh, maybe that's a way back in. Back out. Yeah, okay. And now, now am I able to pull the lever? No, I'm still not. I'm still not. They're just, they're just here for show. It's very strange. So maybe there's another door, I guess? Maybe? I might as well use the health, because... That, that's going to spell disaster the moment something comes up. Okay, so yeah, there's a... <laughs> I've opened the door at the top, but like... My goal isn't quite clear unless it's that one last lingering door to the right. And maybe that's exiting by a different route over here. Might as well look for a large health. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Alright. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really else in this room. Just, just doing a good jump, I guess. Uh. Alright, so I walked into this room and immediately got baited off the ledge. There does appear to be... Is that, is that something I can jump to on the, the left there? You can see there's a, the ledge is like, kind of grayed. Yeah, I can. That's an interesting jump. Ah, oh, gosh. Just, yeah, unrelenting. Levels keep going. Okay, so now this is in another room. that look like a ledge I can stand on? Yeah, probably. No, not. <laughs> okay, that could have ended poorly, but... Oh my gosh, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at here? Looks like you're just, uh, jumping the fire. Yeah. Okay, cool. I guess. Ah, uh, there. Oh. Yeah, nah. Yeah, okay. So many hidey holes that are either just giving me ammo or I'm absolutely blind and I'm missing the, uh, you know, <laughs> an actual secret that's there. Oh, hi there. Yep, okay, cool. Kablue! Again. <laughs> Every time. I love the explosions. There's nothing, nothing like a Christmas explosion in October. Hi! You were not there a second ago. Oh my gosh, jeez. Where was he? Uh, 
it's a bit weird that this ends off and that's definitely you know, full death down there. Actually, is it? Uh, there's a ledge. I don't know. I feel like I missed something up here. Like I just got like some shotgun ammo and just wandered back. But I do have to bear the the particle spam again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did I really? Cause like this ends in like a really like long kind of chamber room. It just looks kind of funky. Yeah, I guess it really was. Just for shotgun. Ah! Ah! Ah, there you go. So now I am above the center where we've got more of these fellas. They're not really much of a threat when they're just chilling up there, I guess. Uh, cool, yeah. Here we go. Alright, so... I believe the goal is... That hole. And that's it. I, I love how, like, we're back over the beginning of the level yet again, and it's just this one hole. So, what do you do? Uh, you do a running swan dive, of course. Oh, that's not a swan dive, but still. Oh, I d didn't even, didn't even get in there in the end. Hi. I guess it's not a swan dive because I'm not. You know, I got to do a running jump, but still. That's what I mean. So yeah, that gets you all the way down there and into the bottom. We then swim back up. Ready. Oh yeah, there was a horse guy. Maybe we should pull out the shotgun. Picked up enough of that. Where'd the horse guy go? He's around here somewhere. Maybe I don't even have to engage with him. Nah. <laughs> nah. Just don't. Don't. <laughs> okay, so. The very last level is uh, yet again just more Atlantis stuff. Um, but I remember this had like some absolute, oh, this bit. <laughs> and you still got more guys on the side, like, they're not, they're not going to chill. They're really like going at you with this. Like, yeah, it's just like, oh, okay. I see where this is going. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Okay. He's not coming at me just yet. Okay, but yeah, so you see, you see this bit, you see all these boulders above you, and you're like, oh, geez, okay. I guess the nice thing is that you can step on one and then like, just see what triggers. Whoa. Oh, mm, mm, I, I had the camera on a weird angle and then I did not judge that correctly. Did just run? Okay, don't run it. Still. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. I guess I must have jumped it, or just taps it again. I guess. So I stood here. And that triggered the one to my left. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a good spot to give it a save. Ah, ah. <laughs> yep, okay, cool. Cool. Yet again. Yet again. Man, that's not that, that there's not enough time to react to that one. Uh oh, oh okay, okay. 
Right space is safe. Right space is safe. Safe here. Then you go one step forward, and now you're unsafe until you jump here. Then that one comes at you. Okay, now there's only two in front of me. The space forward is safe. And that, that one is an immediate dead. Okay. Alright. Cool. Uh, I think I just jumped it. Okay, cool. Cool. And then they expect you to walk back. Ah, oh. I think I remember this level just being like full of just trap after trap. So, which I I mean, granted, it's fair game at this point. This is the last of you know four bonus levels meant to meant to make people who played the original game suffer even more. So. This is not even the way to go. This is just for bonus. And then I walked into it like an idiot. But, eh, it's just for bonus. Well, I'm here anyways. Might as well grab it. I can't believe it. Can't believe they just made me come here just for just for ammo. Who do they take me for? And again, that's nowhere. So again, gotta open the other door. Uh I assume I've just made this like all safe. And <laughs> spawn another barrel or boulder there. Barrel? Alright, door on the <laughs> door on the other side. Hi there. Ouch, oof, oof. Alright. Other door. <laughs> yeah, this seems about the same. Oh, gosh, I got a little jump scared by the tots. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Alright, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All good. Health. No more traps. Uh, yeah, um, Actually, nah. Okay. Sliding on down. Slide up. Oh! Bit of fire. Bit of fire. Two hours early on the call. <laughs> Lara Croft, two, two hours early. Alright. That's okay. Down, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. <sighs> okay. Alright, take 18. Whoop. They do this like kind of that kind of level design in um Tomb Raider three a bit, and it really irks me. Where it's like you can turn while moving forward, but not like while jumping backwards. So um, so they'll do a thing where it's like you can bounce back and forth easily, but you have gotta like edge your way across. Actually, I think Tomb Raider two does it as well. Uh but it's glorious, but also like oh, why have you done this to me? I guess that's one thing I like about the original Tomb Raider is that it's very pure and like what it just expects. Like it doesn't really anticipate the player's gonna do like too many crafty things. And then uh yeah no, they they up the handy quite a fair bit in later entries. Oh. Hi there. You didn't mind getting shot for a bit there. Uh so we've got a door. There must be a lever in the deadly platforming. Uh, 
That was easy. So now I've just got to figure out how to get there. Uh, I think I can make a long jump. Oh. I'm not too sure if I can stand on that closed platform. Oh, and the door closed on me. Oh, because I took my time. than I expected, but sure. Okay, big green ball. And a slope, and I fall down a bit, but that's okay. Uh, I've got a ledge. I'll just slide back down. Cool. Uh, I guess I've got more steps over here. Yeah, I'm curious where this level's gonna go. I don't, I don't remember it being too long, but I don't know. Uh, hmm. I remember running a lot of it, <laughs> like, just feeling, up oh, too many enemies, okay. Yeah, like, like here. Cool. I get there, I guess. Uh, uh, there's a bit of death. There's a bit of death. That's uh, that's probably likely. I'm gonna pop out the Uzis. All right. I don't know if that's a slope in front of me. Well, it's definitely not grabbable. So, uh, LR is gonna have a fun time recovering from that one. Uh. I guess we just go for the slope. Ledge. And then jump this. Oh, there we go. That's that's just ominous as heck. Hi there. Oh, I had to fight a centaur eventually today, didn't I? Uh... Not entirely out of the blue. Still got more level to go. I mean, the level just started, so fair enough. Uh... It just keeps going back down. Here we go. Oh. 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 And into the water. More water. What is this? Oh my gosh. It just snakes around, you know? So I guess here's a question. How many people are watching this uh, knowing about the reboot trilogy? The 2013, 20, uh, you know, Tomb Raider... Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which, by the way, I keep forgetting came came out three years ago. I keep thinking like, oh, it was one of the first RTX titles, which means it must be very recent. And then it's like, yeah, like RTX has been. Oh my gosh, uh, RTX is. I'm not gonna say dead, but it's like, man, you know, the game support is not very good. It's it's not keeping up very nicely. Like, you'll hear of games that support. Uh, and I guess this is specifically uh, the ray tracing component of it and not uh, DLSS. Like, I feel like there's probably more games supporting DLSS um, nowadays. But it's still just like, this is, this is a, you know, the main selling feature of the new cards. And on the one hand, I love that everyone's now holding onto this because at some point people will want to use some form of neural network based acceleration, but on the flip side, it's like, man, you know, these games are doing a great job of wowing people without needing it yet. Like, um, uh, if anyone remembers the Unreal 5, uh, demo they did, um, it was earlier in the year, wasn't it? It wasn't last year, was it? Hopefully not. I'm getting too old otherwise. Um. But 
don't know if I could have jumped here already, but sure. Uh, oh my gosh. They're really, really tucking around those angles. I don't know if I can cheese the jump. This seems like it actually cheese it. Where it's like, it's off by one. Like, I'm not going to jump directly horizontal, but if I kind of go at a little bit of an angle here... Nah, not quite. But then I also thought, well, actually, is that just a ledge right there? Yeah, okay. So, I didn't even need to cheese it. Just... Still. Uh... Yeah, door and switch. So, I don't know if, uh... This is it, or this is gonna spawn dudes on me. Maybe that's just to prevent me from running through. It's just to have two switches. Uh... Oh boy. I think there's actually, like, a bit of, um... Lara is very dead right now. <laughs> uh, I think there's a bit of like, maybe there's some split path stuff happening in this level, because I'm not remembering this too much. I remember two centaurs absolutely like wrecking my day right now. Oh. Oh. The worst part is that, yeah, you don't particularly have anything like tons better to use. I guess I could do this. It's too long a straight. Oh, they come around the other side. Yeah, I think this is what. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's go for the health. Let's just take it. Take it and go for the health. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like. And, and this is someone who's, you know, if I'm going to fanboy over one thing, it's whatever the heck NVIDIA's been doing over the past, like, jeez, that was loud. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I do really like NVIDIA's products, uh, and the kinds of things that they're doing, and the kinds of things that they're really pushing for, not even in just the consumer space, but also just like, you know, all kind of, um, you know, you know that stuff, graphic stuff, I've got a, there's, a, there's another guy over there, but... Hey, I'm gonna take the Uzi ammo. Why not? There's more Uzi ammo. And then there were two switches on this side as well, weren't there? How many switches are just, like, memes? That's two switches for the memes. And two switches for the good. So... I'm gonna have a fun time leaving. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. I was about to say, bro. Oh, I was expecting to just like pause right as he jumped at me. Cool. Uh, hopefully these don't hatch. The moment I go in the water, I'm going in the water. Oh, he's 100% going to get me. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go hit those switches. Okay, that opened the door. What's the other switch do? It opens the door. We've got two doors. I'm going in the right door, because the right door is the right door. Hopefully this joins up. definitely ammo over here, but am I going to need it? I don't know. Maybe the risk is that at some point I've got to come up here. Or even better, i got to pull another lever. And come up for air. Uh, I'm going to go back for air. I don't trust going forward for it. Whoa. Cutting it. Hi there, everyone. How are you doing? Ow! <laughs> I 
Okay, so that would have opened up the door next to this. Yep. Where does this lead? Back here. That seems like it's just a, a way back. And I'm probably going to get lost if I dedicate myself too much to it, so how about checking out the other one. Bazoozy ammo, there's all this other kind of ammo. I'm feeling confident with my ammo now. I was also feeling confident that I was going the right way, but I guess not. This is just actually like a closed off Uzi ammo room. That's it. So why am I going back to the beginning room? Maybe, oh, maybe it was because I opened two switches. So therefore I pulled two doors. He's really coming at me, isn't he? Jeez. So much ammo. Am I even going to need it? Like, I know they throw a bunch of, you know, a couple of enemies at you at the, near the end, but... Is it really that many? Is it really that many enemies? Alright, so I'm back in the center room. But now what? So I opened a fleshy door in one of the corners, I think. Is that what we're going for? Alright, so this looks like a corner. But I don't know if this is like the corner that I went up. Uh, it's definitely a nice ledge, but... Not, oh, was it the center? Nah, I don't remember climbing up the center, was it? Maybe it was. Was this always open? I don't remember it was. It doesn't look like there was ever a door here, but... Why can't I go in the center up here? Also, was that a ledge that I saw? Nah. Or oh, maybe. Maybe it was, but... Uh, hopefully I'm not just going back where I, like, really came from ages ago as well. But considering I'm able to climb this, this sounds like, seems like it's a, it's a valid pathway. Man, I'm getting so lost in it. Well, that's a door, so, must be good. Hi there. And that's an enemy, so that must be doubly good. Doom logic. If you see enemies, you know you're going the right way. That's such, like, a, a staple as well. Like, so many games rely on that now to go, like, hey, like, you know, this is the way to go purely because there's, you know, stuff happening. Uh, and then, meanwhile, games with auto-regenerating enemies, aka uh, the follow-up Hexen. You can get so much more lost than Hexen, purely because the enemies uh, just respawn every four minutes. Ah, oh, this room. Yeah. So I think I remember the moment you step in the middle, it causes like everyone to just come at you. And this is the terrifying part. Maybe not quite the center? All the shotgun ammo as well, so... There it is. Uh, the lights went out, so they obviously mean business, but... Ah, uh, sure. Yep, okay, hi. And he, he's going, he's going hard. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 gosh. Ah! 
Okay, yeah, they all come at you. Okay, how about... Standing there, activate any. Just standing here, activate any. If I'm able to take him just one at a time. Two at a time, so that's not ideal. That is an unideal scenario. Can't go there, that's cheating. Uh, how do these guys activate? Maybe they're just not activating. Oh, there's one. Again, cheaty path. You can't go that far back. He's gone. He's actually out of here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> That's called the stuck in the mud attack. I'll never suspect it. I don't have too much to say, and I guess it's like, well, I mean, how much Tomb Raider have you guys seen already? So, the good news is that, yeah, I guess, last, last level. So, double the fun, double the gun. So, what's the point? Oh, it opened the door next to me. Yeah. Cool. That's a great sound. Ah, yes. Alright. So it's at this point. So it's like, okay. You got a door at the other end. Do you have to release the Krakens, or... Maybe I should just hit the switch next to me. Switches everywhere. One of these switches will ruin me, and one of them will... Not ruin me. I need both of them. Oh. There we go. It was just the third switch. The second switch. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. Centaur just chilling. I love how it's like, yep, and don't go near all the eggs, because, you know, they're all gonna open up. What's the point in even fighting him when you can just go down here and just ignore him? Because it's not like he's gonna chase you down here. And then, yeah, so I remember now it's like, okay, now you gotta pull that. Opens the door at the far end. Now you gotta sprint while everything uh, is about to kill you. Just keeps opening up more. Uh, and now here comes, yeah, here comes the real anticlimactic end. Like, there's all these enemies open up. It's obvious that they probably just want you to, like, bail. And then, yeah, I don't know if it's, again, as I said at the beginning, maybe I've just got my game configured poorly, it fades to black, and after a moment it just comes back to the title screen. And that's kind of it. And that's a bit of an anticlimactic end. But, uh, I mean, that's it with the, the Tomb Raider unfinished business. There may be a bit more to see. Obviously, there's secrets and stuff in, in uh, both this and all the Tomb Raider levels before. Uh, so, obviously, I would recommend playing these yourself. Have a good time. Try and uncover some secrets that I didn't find out. Because um, there's a lot about this game that I still have no idea about. But it's not too hard a game if your save's coming like me. Yeah, just back to the title screen. So... 
But yeah, uh, the unfinished business stuff, uh, yeah, after playing it again, it's like, mm, they are longer levels. Uh, but actually, yeah, they're kind of alright. I do remember, I did remember a fair bit of them, uh, since the last time I played. So, I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad I had just another opportunity to play through it. Doing it all on one stream, so that's alright as well. Uh, just as a nice little fun bonus. Uh, I do have a, uh, a spooky Halloween game for next week, which might take me two streams, and that's perfect, because that puts me right at the end of October as well. Um, but with that, I would like to thank you guys very much for watching the stream and watching this if you are watching it as a VOD or watching it live if you're watching it live. If you're on Twitch, uh, make sure that you hit that follow button so you know exactly me streaming at 8.30 p.m. all the time. Uh, but if you aren't followed, then yeah, just, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you, glad you enjoyed it, KZ. Um, and yeah, uh, I just re-upload all these VODs to YouTube. Hopefully I don't run into any issues like last week where I had a couple of blank frames I needed to fill in and I used the YouTube editor and the YouTube editor was like, heck no, I'm not re-encoding this alright. So, that was a bit weird. Um, so yeah, uh, but that should be all fine. Uh, other than that, it is the middle of October, which means somehow we get 10 degree weather in Sydney. That's a bit weird, so uh, for all of you at home, make sure you rug up, or don't rug up if you've got great weather, uh, and have a good one. Stay safe, eat your greens, and uh, I'll catch you all next week.